Hi friends of the twins, welcome back to our channel. Well, this is Rhonda and in today's video, I'm going to share a little bit of my reset. I typically take Sunday as my reset day. I do cleaning around the house. I've already had my groceries ordered and they've been delivered this morning. I put those away. And we're also going to take a look at renovations that are going on at Shonda's house. She's got big changes coming. She has new flooring as well as new picture molding. Before we go to Shonda's house, I want to introduce y'all to something I'm very excited about. It is my new Yeedy Vac 2 Pro. She is actually, and I call her she, she's going to be helping me with the cleaning today. Now, once I got the box open, all of the parts are in there, everything that you will need for your Yeedy Vac 2 Pro. And I want to thank them for sponsoring this portion of the video. And here I'm just sharing with you, it, this one you can vacuum as well as mop. Yep, she can help me with my mopping. Now it also has the obstacle avoidance and you'll see what I mean in just a little bit, as well as the mop station. The power on this vacuum is very strong. It is 3000 PA, which makes it certainly be strong enough to vacuum up pet hair as well as small items like cereal, which I really need for when the grandbaby is here. And friends, I'm so excited to be sharing this with y'all now because guess what? This system is actually on sale. I am going to leave all of the links for you. They will be down in the description box below. You can find this item at Walmart, Amazon, as well as the Yeedy.com website. And I will have everything linked for you down in the description box below. The Yeedy Back 2 Pro has an app. You go into the App Store, you download the Yeedy app, and from there it is really easy. You will have audible, verbal instructions that tell you exactly what to do. You can also set the power for your vacuum as you see here. Uh, you can go with a standum, all, standard all the way up to a maximum volume. And it will also give you a little warning, you know, that when you put in that boost vacuum mode, it might drain your battery quickly. As far as the mopping system, you can set the water level. I don't have my cleaning system reserved yet, but what it does is you can map out your rooms in your house. And the Yeedy Vac 2 will remember and it will go along and clean and you can set a, an actual cleaning schedule by days or time. And now you may be wondering about the cost. The Yeedy Vac 2 Pro is $299.99 currently on sale. It also has an accessory part, the emptying station. Now these are sold separately. When you do the math, the emptying station is currently on sale on the YeedyVac.com website for $140. Now typically they are $199 as you see here on Amazon. So this is a great time to buy it. You are saving a lot of money. I know for me, as I get older, I want more of a work-life balance. So anything that can help me get my chores done around the house faster so that I can get to the good stuff, then that's what I want to do. Now I'm going to be mopping. I just showed you me filling the water reservoir and this is the action that is actually going on. Did you see that oscillating mop? It is like this girl here is on her hands and knees scrubbing back and forward for me to help me get my floors clean. And I was just absolutely in awe of it when I put it into action. Now this young lady can certainly be a daily helper for me, which will be a big help, but it is not meant to be your only vacuum and mopping source. Another thing that I really, really love and I spoke about a little early, earlier is the obstacle avoidance. She has 3D sensors on her and she is able to navigate around objects. And another thing that I absolutely love is watch her right here. She can go into spaces that this young lady here talking about me, I would have to get down on my hands and knees to do and I don't want to do that. And so I will have everything linked for you down below. And now we're going to get on back into the cleaning. Now, one thing that I do here in the kitchen, y'all, is I do, I don't know if anybody else does this, but the way I do it is I start with the larger 
dishes first. I wash all of the pots and pans by hand. I do not put those in the dishwasher. I give them a good cleaning and I take out my kitchen towels and I rinse them and put them on the kitchen towels. And then I just proceed from there on with getting the dishwasher loaded, rinsing everything else and putting it in the dishwasher. And you'll see a little bit later, then I go back after I've cleaned the whole kitchen, I go back and I get the dishes that I have been letting air dry. I wipe them down with a towel because although they've been sitting there for some minutes, they are not completely dry. Then I hand dry them and I put those away. That's just the way that I do it. I feel like, you know, pots and pans can sometimes be too bulky in the dishwasher. I don't know. That's what a dishwasher is for though, y'all. But this is just the way that I have always done it. This is what works for me. Now that I've gotten all of the dishes squared away, it is time for me to give the sink a good cleaning. And y'all would not believe it, but I actually do this every day. I scrub the sink and the stove every day. I think now it's just more habit and the fact that I love seeing the sink and the stove clean, especially the stove. You know, I have the smooth top. So I really do enjoy seeing it all nice and clean and shiny. So I just I'm just taking my Dawn dish washing liquid and that is actually what I have this brush filled with. If there is one thing that I absolutely love y'all, it is my cleaning brush here. I'm going to leave it linked for you down in the description box. You can find these on zoolily.com as well as Amazon and they range in price on average they are about $12 it, it has been a $12 that is well spent for me and out of all the things that I buy this has been one of the most helpful and one of the things that I'm most happy about so once I get the sink all clean then I go over to the stove and when I tell you you know, if there's a such thing as cleaning, making you joyful and happy, this is my happy time. I absolutely love this process here. It is my fo most favorite thing to do in the kitchen. I start out by putting, wiping down and I can get all of the excess debris that is easily, you know, taken off. I do that with the washcloth or with the dishcloth. And then I come back with my brush and here you'll see, I just need to fill it up a, lit, a little bit. And, and I do love using the Dawn dishwashing liquid. When my daughter Lauren was in middle school, no, actually elementary, I believe, she did her science project. You know how you do your big science project of the year? Hers was on the effectiveness of the different dishwashing liquids and Dawn was by far the best. She did the chemical test and all. So we continue to use Dawn uh, dishwashing liquid to this day. Dawn, y'all need to pay me for that, okay? But anyway, I get the stove all lathered up and I don't know, this is just so therapeutic for me. I really enjoy doing this. And then I take my little scraper here, my blade. I will also link this for you. I got this on Amazon and you can buy it as a singular blade or you can also get it in a set. And in the set, it will come with the blade as well as something that kind of looks like a scouring pad. And I believe you can also buy a cleaning solution. My daughter got me this one and I absolutely love it. So I lather it up, I go along and I scrape all of that extra food stuff off. And then I go back and I just give it a good rinsing. And like I said, I don't know why this is so therapeutic for me, but it is. It's a process that I absolutely love, and I think that's what enables me to be able to do it each and every day. After I do that, I'll just get everything wiped down. Now, you all didn't see me. I have the cleaning cloth, you know, wet cleaning cloth, and I actually wiped on top of the stove there. And I use that long white dish that you saw there i use that as my spoon rest and i just keep it sitting right there on top of the stove and i always go along and wipe down the light fixture that's over the stove i do that every day 
and here you'll see me I'm going back and I'm actually hand drying all of those items the larger items that I had air drying on my dish towel so or my kitchen towel just go back get all of those hand wiped and then I will put those up and what you all can't see but some of you probably know is that I have a small television mounted underneath the kitchen cabinet here and it is another thing that i absolutely love in the kitchen it almost makes it feel like i'm not working not cleaning and all that kind of thing then when it comes to the countertops i am wiping them down with some lysol and typically after i do that i do do the lysol for bacteria then i'll go back with something like a fabuloso i have some countertop granite countertop cleaner but i typically just use fabuloso as my ending product you know because of the smell it gives that fresh smell in the kitchen now y'all heard me say but lots of times i clean at night i enjoy being up by myself with nobody in my way but i didn't do it last night uh and i probably won't do it tonight i ended up working this weekend friday and saturday so i was too tired and then once I've gotten everything clean, you'll see we have our little cookie jar here. I'm refreshing it, refilling with the last of the Girl Scout cookies. I love the do si -dos. And so I'm just going to take this last box. This is it. And get this all refreshed. Now, friends, we are so excited to share with y'all a sneak peek of all of the renovations that are currently in progress at Shonda's house. Now today is Sunday, March 19th, so we are up to date and present. She chose this Mohawk flooring in a color called natural pine and she had it placed all throughout the living spaces on the lower floor. She has um, one bedroom that is upstairs, but every room downstairs with the exception of the bedroom she still has carpet there but every other living space she had new flooring put in including here we are going down the hall this bathroom has a tile there but it has been replaced with the flooring every area has a new flooring and as you know often happens when you have a house that is not just a brand new construction there were a little bit of maintenance details they had to do some leveling here of the floor so in that case it was good that she chose a new floor so that things like that you know could be taken care of and here it is friends here is Shonda's new flooring throughout in the color natural pine by the Mohawk brand when I tell you her home feels like a new space and that is exactly what she wanted she had the carpet before and we live in the woods so we have to be conscious of leaves and dirt and that kind of thing and so the carpeting carpeting was just not going to be sufficient i am so happy for her i'm going to be going up there shortly and seeing all of the other renovations now what you're looking at right here is a board that had four different stains on it and you saw she chose that one on the right the far right and here is some of uh, just a view of where I was telling you there were some boards that needed to come up. There are some maintenance issues with the floor. All of that has been rectified. And now that stain, this is the actual floor. The stain color that she chose is what they put on the steps. They replaced the boards on these stairs that lead up to a bedroom. And as you can see, that stain matches the floor perfectly. And now she couldn't have all these subcontractors or contractors in the house doing projects and not give one to Boo Daddy. For those of you that don't know, Boo Daddy is Shonda's husband. So she had to give Boo Daddy a project to do too. So friends, guess what he is doing? He is putting her up some wall molding. Like I said, today is Sunday, March 19th. He is presently and actively at it now as we speak and like i said i'll be going up there shortly to see the progress but yep boo daddy is putting her up some wall molding here's a little sneak peek of this and i believe that this is in the formal dining room room we'll be back to share with you more in a future video friends we hope that you're having a beautiful sunday we also hope that you enjoyed seeing the reset here at my house as well as the renovations at her house. You make the life that you live a life that you love now because life is short. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.